What's going on guys? It's Data Strain. I'm going to bring you a really quick tip here uh, involving drum racks and how you can use them to enhance your performance and um, your production by adding pitch variations. Um, I actually kind of stumbled upon this earlier while playing around with this kit. Uh, it's the Azimuth kit from the Ableton Beat Tools pack. Um, super cool pack if you're not used to really making beats and stuff or uh, if you come from just like more of a 16 pad driven area helps you get a little bit more familiar with the push and things you can do with it um and the sounds just sound you know super good sounds super super good uh but what i'm going to show you today is how to get pitch variation uh with this and it's very simple let's just make a very quick beat um just so i can show you guys uh with that it's going to be like drums in like one of the samples here Right, so we got that so what do i want to do right now i want to add pitched high hats that's right i want to trap this out a little bit i know you all know what i mean simplest way to do that come over here to your push hit this little convert button after selecting your pad right there convert hi-hat azimuth to midi track select yes it'll now open this up in its own separate midi track as you can see i've already done that one time before with the yellow um, I actually have it on this is a cool thing too is that you can use it in the melodic sequencer Which I did not know until the the first time I tried making this video, but yeah, this is dope This is like super cool a really fun way to, to try to work with your stuff um, You know so you can literally just And as it's playing, you'll hear all the different pitch variations, which is just super cool. And you can go up and down octaves, you know, with the octave buttons, uh, you know, whatever you really feel is right. Just kind of throw stuff in there. I'll make just like make it like a four bar loop or something. Just, I'm just hitting random notes right now just to kind of show you guys. And another cool thing about it too is that it sounds super good with the beat repeat on. Um, and actually, we got to go back to the normal note layout for that one. But yeah. I mean, you can kind of hear it going on in there. Like, I'll just play it by itself, but I mean, it adds a lot of variation to what you can do and the sounds that you want to get or that you can get. So yeah, that's basically the tip. I mean, it, it that's going to be a game changer for me. I'm going to have to play around with this a little bit more and understand it. Um, and to be real, that's like the first time I've ever even used a melodic sequencer. Like, I just kind of found out on accident um that i could do that from you know making a mini clip in the drum rack but yeah i can imagine this opening up worlds for me i'm sure that you guys are going to find a way to really blow this out so i hope you learned something today i hope you had fun 
stay tuned because I'll be coming back with more videos. Uh, and enjoy. I'll see you guys later.